welcome to the next session on lab bites myself dr deepak bhanot and today i am going to talk about the importance of using clean laboratory glassware you have to ensure cleanliness of the laboratory glassware to your own satisfaction and not depend on support staff in the laboratory every time only clean glassware can ensure highest degree of accuracy and precision of results irrespective of the sophistication of the analytical technique that you use common detergents can be used for preliminary cleaning and subsequently acidified potassium dichromate can be used on continued use the solution loses its oxidation power and turns green when it should be discarded for cleaning of cuvettes of absorption cells you can use a mixture of hydrochloric acid and methanol remember not to use hard brushes for cleaning the interior walls of the glass cells grease can cause problems in titrimetric analysis so it can be removed from from joints by boiling in a weak solution of sodium bicarbonate subsequently the joints can be soaked in potassium dichromate followed by rinsing with water and finally with acetone before drying the cleaning requirements in microbiology laboratories are slightly different after disposal of media soak the glassware in a solution of antiseptic such as detol or sevlon for about half an hour slides and cover glasses are placed in glacial acetic acid for around 10 minutes and then rinsed with pure water and dried then subsequently they are placed in a jar of alcohol wiped dry and stored additional autoclaving is recommended for about half an hour for at 121 degree centigrade and 15 psi pressure to eliminate all bacterial contamination it is essential to test for acidic or residues before starting with the analysis take the clean glassware and add a drop of 0.04% bromothymol development of blue green color indicates neutral glassware if the color changes to yellow it indicates presence of acidic residues and development of blue color indicates alkaline residues after cleaning the degree of cleanliness can be validated by filling the glassware with purified water shaking for some time and then testing the water sample with the total car organic carbon an analyzer or toc the toc value should be below 1000 ppb gc vials are used analysis after analysis so their cleanliness has to be validated before use take three clean dry vials and crimp with solvent free caps the vials are then placed in head space analyzer after sealing and on rubbing the air samples the inside vials should air should be free of any solvent peaks commercially available laboratory glassware washing machines make the cleaning process automatic and convenient they also provide superior cleaning and time saving inside the machines there are adjustable racks which provide for cleaning of all types of glassware simultaneously 
and cycling operation permits wash and dry operation between rinses. You have also options for using heated water and forced air drying. These are some of the popular brands which are available in the market. So thanks to all of you for your patient listening. We will be looking forward to you in the next session of Lab Bites.